Good morning and welcome back. I am in London, of course. I'm not sure that's a pretty bad view over there. I'm um, here with my little Fuji X100 and I've got the obligatory, obligatory, not sure what the word is, coffee, because I don't think that anyone's ever made a video about photography without talking about coffee. So instead of heading down this way towards the city, I'm going to go the opposite way and head down this way towards the London Eye. Still heading along the South Bank, can't go wrong with South Bank. And yeah, the sun keeps coming in and out. It's a lovely, like, cool, fresh day. The weatherman has promised it was going to be nice weather later. So let's try and make the most of it. I've literally just walked 15 meters um, and already I've found this little like patch of light. So you see how it's like really bright and also a little bit shadowy. You can get really nice silhouettes with the skyline in the background. So I'm going to have a little play around with that. just here uh, and he's been trying to take selfies for the last like two minutes or so and so I thought I'd take it on myself to take a cool photo of him using the lines of the rails and then frame it between these two lab posts. I think I've been super unlucky today and with bored security guards because anyone who is taking photos in London will know that security guards don't like you taking photos because everywhere seems to be privately owned which is kind of a shame like found this out today we're <laughs> having a conversation with a security guard but they own it's like 27 acres all all along the stretch of river and you're technically not allowed to take photos on it so that is <laughs> that is news to me I think that it's partially because there's literally no one about um, so I'm the only person to tell us more covert pictures I think are needed. I found this strip of light, this strip of light against this building and I'm trying to get a subject to curve and just be around here. So I think that the lines and the contrast really bring your eye towards this spot. No one finger, but that's what there. And so imagine... Look what I've come across. The thing I was trying to take photos of last time, but this time it looks kind of cool because instead of it being kind of like sticking out of the water, it's now seemingly part of the water. And so what I love about that like composition is that the ripples, if you look, they're obviously ripply, but that's perfectly flat and you get a cool reflective surface. So hopefully I can capture a little bit of St. Paul's dome in it, which hopefully look pretty sick. Um, but my challenge is St. Paul's, is looking pretty blown out and pretty flat and boring. Can't really see the curvature of the dome, which is what makes it interesting. I think that realistically, um, this isn't the best time of the day to be shooting this kind of shot. So I'm gonna save this, put it in the bank of photos that I wanna get, and yeah, work out when's the next best time to come back and do it. So, cool. Right, on to the next. tips for taking better photos being better prepared for getting out and taking photos in London. My first tip is that toilets are hard to come by. Obviously all the pubs and bars are shut so make sure you know where the biggest train stations are and they always have open toilets. So here's me outside Waterloo. Although London is at the moment a lot quieter than usual, still on Saturdays and Sundays are still super busy. So I recommend getting out nice and early so you can make the most of the beautiful sunrise get photos with less people it's easier to create one subject rather than having just a bunch of different people in your photo unless that's the look you're going for and my third and final tip is to not be afraid of climbing on stuff or going down um not necessarily alleyways it sounds a bit dangerous but just climbing around exploring different places different angles places that you haven't been before 
because that's how I think I get photos that are different to ones I've previously taken and also photos that are different to what every other London photographer has done. If that's what you're into, then I recommend climbing around. So see, see what's up and I'm sure you're gonna get much better photos and you'll be proud of what you create. So those are my top three tips. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. If you are still watching this video, you're either watching it out of courtesy or you actually like this video. So if it's either one of those, I suppose, um, I would love it if you would give it a little, little. Um, and until next time, peace.